Okay, um, I'd like to welcome everyone to today's event, uh, especially our students here at Queen's College. I'm Professor Gerasimus Katzen. I'm the director of the Byzantine and Modern Greek Studies Center here at Queen's College. Um, and it's a real pleasure today to, to have our guest, um, uh, Professor um, Valia Kaimaiki from the Ionian University. Um, uh, I would like to thank uh, first and foremost, the uh, the World Federation of Catalonian and Ithaikian Societies, uh, Odysseus, um, and welcome uh, Mrs. Angeliki Hioni, uh, the Vice President, um, for their support and for, for sponsoring the event. Uh, I would like to thank the uh, members of the Hellenic American National Council who are present and, and mention uh, Mr. Vasilis uh, Matarangos, the President of who's also sponsoring, co-sponsoring the event. Um, I'd like to thank Mr. Costas Vagelatos for helping us organize the event and for his generosity in supporting this, this event today. Um, uh, I'd like, uh, so I would also like to thank um, those professors from campus, uh, Mr. Uh, Professor Alexiu, who is here, um, and uh, Maria Thanasopoulou, the, the assistant director of the center for putting this together. Um, I'd also like to welcome our guests on Zoom from Greece and from around uh, New York. Uh, and I would like to introduce um, Professor uh, Aikos uh, Konivaris, uh, who is the director of the Center for the Ionian Diaspora, and ask him to say a few words. And, and afterwards, also Mr. Andreas Floros, the provost of Ionian University. Uh, who are, are joining us by via Zoom today. Uh, so I invite them to make uh, some uh, opening remarks. Thank you. So uh, maybe the director, Mr. Flores, can speak first. Okay. Thank you, Ayis, dear colleagues, dear students, dear all. The Ionian Hall of Science is an initiative by the Hellenic and Ionian Diaspora Lab at the Digital Media and Communication Department of the Ionian University. The basic goal of the project is to identify and bring together all scientists of Ionian origin or current residents in the Ionian islands working in Greece or abroad to help the future development of the Ionian Islands through science. Its aim is to mobilize network scientists of Ionian origin and scientists currently working in the Ionian Islands so they can exchange ideas, collaborate, transfer their knowledge, cooperate, and find ways to further develop science and arts in the Ionian region. The first phase of the project is to attract Ionian scientists all over the world and create a new searchable and online scientific network thus enabling and facilitating scientific research, the exchange of ideas and proposals, cooperation and co-creation. As the rector of the Union University, I fully endorse this action and look forward to the creation of several cooperations with all the universities that host Ionian scientists around the world. The Union University currently comprises of five faculties and 12 departments. It is based on all major islands in the Ionian Islands in Greece. Through the project, we aim to disseminate the very important research that's currently undertaken by our scientists and enhance it in the future through cooperations with scientists all over the world. In conclusion, I welcome you to this event and I do hope that you will find ways to engage or even participate in the Ionian Hall of Science. Thank you and many greetings from Corfu. Wow. Uh, so, uh, uh, first of all, thank you very much uh, to our rector for being with us uh, today. Uh, hello, everyone, uh, professors, students, and sponsors uh, of this event. First of all, uh, thank you for hosting us in New York at your university. Uh, 
my name is Agisilaos Konidaris. I'm an associate professor at the Digital Media and Communication Department of the Ionian University in Greece. I'm also the scientific coordinator of the Ionian Hall of Science project. Right now, uh, I'm talking to you from the island of Kefalonia, which is in the heart of the Ionian Islands. I'd like to give you some background very briefly on today's event and uh, answer some of the questions that you may be thinking of right now. I guess many of you are thinking of uh, questions like, where are the Ionian Islands? Uh, what is the Ionian Hall of Science and why was it created? Uh, are there so many Ionian scientists around the world? And um, why does all of this concern me? So let me try to briefly answer these questions as an introduction to Dr. Kaimaki's presentation. So let's start. Where are the Ionian Islands? The Ionian Island complex is located in the west of Greece next to Italy. The island the complex consists of seven major islands and several smaller ones. All these islands are major tourism locations, as you can imagine, hosting major world-class natural attractions and beaches. But these islands also provide unique opportunities for research through the Ionian University. The Ionian University has departments on the four largest islands of the Ionian Island complex. A major brand that I think you all know uh, is uh, the island of Ithaca, which is uh, Ulysses Island, Odysseus Island. So if you've heard of Ithaca or Odysseus, you actually do know one of the Ionian Islands. Why are we creating the Ionian Hall of Science? As you may know, uh, Greece is a country of about 10 million citizens. It is believed that another 10 million Greeks live, live around the world. So. For every one Greek uh, living in Greece, there's another one living somewhere around the world. The same analogy, and maybe even a greater one, is true for the Ionian Islands. A large number of people originating from the Ionian Islands lives around the world. Uh, people have been living on the Ionian Islands for thousands of years, so we have a very, very rich history. Unfortunately, there were several historic events in the island's history that led people to relocate around the world. The most recent one uh, is the 1953 major earthquake in Kefalonia and Zakynthos that led people to relocate around the world because there was almost nothing left. So where are all these people? Where did they go? What are they doing now? How can they participate, participate in the development of the Ionian Islands, even from their countries that they live in today. In our days, you don't need people to relocate back to their birthplace to take part in several local activities. You just need to create a network where they are willing to participate. Give them the opportunity to opt in and give back to their islands. Especially for scientists, this makes even more sense because networking is very important to them. Last year, Stanford researchers published a paper and a data set related to Greek scientists worldwide. They searched scientist databases, mainly Scopus, and found about 64,000 Greek names of active scientists around the world. We looked into this database and amazingly found that more than 10% of the surnames were associated to one of the Ionian Islands. That gave us an idea of the vast scientist body of Ionian origin scientists living around the world. So we started thinking how these scientists could come together and form a new scientist network. How could they help the islands? What would they gain from their participation in the network? And that's when the Ionian Hall of Science project idea was created. And now, why, did it, why does this concern you? How can you participate? Everyone can participate by, by becoming a scientific volunteer. Scientific volunteers help us collect, analyze, and publish the information we collect. They hold frequent meetings and engage in co-creation. Everyone can propose ideas. If you think, 
that you have an idea that can be incorporated into the Ionian Hall of Science, get on our website now and send it to us. You can propose a scientist for inclusion. If you know a scientist of Ionian origin, get on our website and propose them. So you see, everyone can get involved in the project. Maybe this can even inspire you to create a similar scientific network for your country or region. Everything I said about the Ionian Hall of Science and the Ionian University can be found on the web, on our websites that Valia will uh, share with you. In conclusion, I invite you all to visit our, our islands and our university in the near future. It's really easy to come to Greece from the US. I'd like to close with a Greek saying that is absolutely true for scientists visiting the Ionian Islands. And the saying goes, I'll say it in Greek first, to terpnon meta which when freely translated means do your job, in this case, your research while having a good time. And that's absolutely true in the Ionian Islands. I hope you get some inspiration today and I suggest you get involved in the Ionian Hall of Science project. Thank you so much for hosting us today once again. Thank you. Uh, thanks to both uh, um, uh, Provost Kloros and um, uh, Professor Konivaris uh, for your kind words. Um, I made a couple of, of omissions that I'd like to address. Um, I, I meant to welcome uh, Mr. Kostandatos from the Catalonian uh, Society, uh, and also thank uh, the ICARO Student Club for their support of this event as well. Um, so please help me in welcoming Dr. Valia Taimaki, who is a professor of digital media and communications at the University of, uh, at the Ionian University. Um, she's also the um, she serves as the vice chair of the Journalism Center, uh, European Journalism Center in Maastricht, uh, in the Netherlands, um, and she holds a PhD from the Pantheon University and is the author of two books and numerous articles in digital media studies. Uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a real pleasure to be here with you today. Two months ago, I wouldn't have imagined that this would be possible. I would like, in the beginning, uh, starting my speech, uh, thank everyone for working so hard and so quickly to make this possible, to make this happen. I, I, I cannot repeat all the names, but uh, Mr. Vagelatos is here and uh, Mrs. Afanasopoulou and Mrs. Hione and everyone has been uh, really, really helpful and have made dreams that we didn't even know that we had possible. So please come, come. Uh, what I will do is to explain in more words uh, what uh, Agis Konidaris just told you. I have to say that he is the heart and the brains be behind this, uh, this project. And his, um, uh, his energy has transported many of us to follow him and, uh, and, uh, and make this project happen in, uh, in a very short time. And having um, opened doors and perspectives and um, ideas and everything. So thank you very much, Agis, for, for this wonderful energy that you have given us. Um, so um, I will explain. Uh, it doesn't want to work. It's always like that. <clears throat> Of course, it is a, <clears throat> it's the moment that nothing works, uh, even if it was really um, uh, yeah, working a half an hour ago. Um, but I will tell you. This database uh, from Stanford University that Agis mentioned is uh, the core of our idea. Uh, when Agis saw it, he thought that it's not possible that we have so many scientists outside Greece and not have anything to do with them. 
and, and to make it just plain. Um, uh, of course, this is very important to have just get off the way so that people you cannot. Oh, it doesn't move? No. Interesting. Either way. Incredible. A few moments of patience. A few moments. That works. No. He wanted your hand. My hand, my hand was not acceptable. Thank you. So what I just told you, I will show you also in images. This is this is uh, Kefalonia Argos uh, is here, beans, and this is our uh, campus, uh, which is um, let's say under construction. But in my opinion, we could we, we could keep all this green around us and. Uh, and this is what you what you see when you go out. So we've got a wonderful environment. This is uh, the inside. We've got arts. Um, don't think that it's very common in Greece to have arts uh, in uh, inside the school, but we are very particular about that because um, uh, this is something very important. So this is our classrooms and all right. So let's let's go to the to the to the project directly. So Ionian scientists are active all over the world. And for us, they constitute an extra extraordinary scientific power. And we would like to activate this power and make uh, this power contribute to the development of the Ionian Islands. That's the hypothesis of our work. So we've got plenty of questions. Who and, and how many are the Ionian scientists that are active worldwide? Uh, we mentioned, Agis and me mentioned uh, the study with the 64,000 names that we have, but is it possible uh, starting from this database to go uh, to identify the UN and start the scientists in them? Um, how, how should we do it? Should we do it? What filters should we use? These are all um, research questions that have been uh that have been that we are examining uh, actually and uh, of course we have to classify this um these scientists um which scientific fields are they active what are their achievements um how can we constitute a network and how can their networking uh contribute to the development of the ionian islands how could the ionian university with this with this exceptional personal contribute as a catalyst to the, the activation of this network of Ionian scientists. Yeah. Yeah, I'll try to. There's a micro, maybe you're catching my microphone. No, you're not. Is this better? Yes. Yeah. Oh, all of you. All right. Perfect. We'll do it like that. Um, so these questions were the, the foundation of the Ionian Hall of Science. And it's not a list of names, it's people, it's a human network. And we will also use theories of human networks to incorporate and help, to our, help our project. So it's a scientific networking research project. If you want to give five, five words to describe the project, that's it. Um, the results will be, for us, they will be useful for the scientific community, the Union University, the Union Islands and their inhabitants, the diaspora and Greece as a country. Why Greece will say that um, in, a, in a while. I will not exactly uh, talk about scientific networking uh, but I will talk about this analogy about the research because research is like building with many floors, a building, sorry, with many floors, without an overall final plan. But each floor is designed and built by a different contractor and is based on the previous ones. So we can have something like this building, which can be uh, uh, stay upright, even if it seems a little bit hazardous. We've researched 
uh, we, we've, we've seen what other researchers have done and um, there is um, quite, there are quite a few researchers that could help us, but most of all, it's this, um, it's this, uh, 60, this catalog of the 64,000 names that will be the base of our, um, of our um, research. Uh, just a few words to remind you that during the 15 last years, for the past 15 years, Greece is suffering from what we call brain drain. Brain drain is that our uh, uh, young scientists uh, prefer to live uh, for abroad and not stay in Greece because there are not many jobs and because the situation was financially uh, difficult and because of many reasons. So we've got the la crème de la crème the, of our, of our uh, young scientists living abroad. So if this project could also help network uh, networking with them and then even bring back them, bring some of them back. That would be wonderful. Uh, I'm not trying to lure you into coming back to Greece, any of you, all right? So that's not my point. But we could constitute um, a solid basis for people um, that will feel um, inside the network, even if they're back in Greece. Because, you know, one of the problems is that Greece is far away, it's a small country, it's isolated, not, not exactly isolated, but it's on the, the farthest south uh, eastern corner of Greece. So it's not easy. People that, that live in, uh, scientists that live in France, for example, they can be in Brussels or Amsterdam or London in one hour or one hour and a half. But people from Greece, they have, they cannot go to London and go, come back the same day, for example, for, um, uh, for uh, uh, for a meeting or for a search project, so it's it's kind of difficult. But if you feel that you're part of a network, then things become much easier. They become much more feasible, if you want. So I wanted to insist on this point. Um, as Aggie said, uh, the Island Hall of Science, Science is a scientific networking initiative. Uh, by the Hellenic and Ionian Diaspora Research Lab at the Department of Digital Media. And we want to activate this power. So one of the questions that we are asked, I, I was the first to ask this question and I said, why only scientists and not artists, for example? Um, first of all, because they are the group of people who most recognize the importance of networking. They are familiar with scientific networks and they're already networked in some, to some extent. And why Ionian scientists? To highlight the exceptional scientific power of the Ionian Islands, uh, so that the project is not too ambitious and be practically man manage manageable, sorry, and successful. This is a very crucial point for me because we've seen many projects starting with, um, high expectations and uh, um, enthusiasm and energy and they're so overwhelming and so big that uh, people cannot really reach to the end of it, go uh, to the end of it. So we prefer that we, we have something smaller, which is already ambitious for us. And then, um, and then maybe we can share it with other regions. Maybe we can make it bigger to, to include. I, I, have a, I had a friend that wrote to me yesterday. He is in Phoenix. And he said, why are you in New York? Come to Phoenix. And I said, well, if you have your own scientists, I will come to Phoenix. <laughs> he said, well, we're from Patras. Doesn't it, don't you want us? And I said, yes, well, you wait a little bit and then we will have a bigger circle. Anyway, um, one of our objectives is also to, um, to offer a channel for people that have left Greece to give back something to their country. Um, this is a very usual phenomenon also that people that live outside Greece, they feel Greek and they want to give back 
to their village or to their town or to their country or something, and they have no means of doing that. It is impossible. If, if you want to give money, if you want to give uh, real estate, if you want to give uh, knowledge, if you want to give, um, to share, share your knowledge or your talents, it, you cannot do it. It's not, it's very difficult. There's no one where you can go and say, hi, I'm, I'm an artist, I'm, I'm a painter, and I want to teach pay, um, children from my, uh, from, my, um, from my town to paint. This will never happen. So we will also open a channel, um, more of an image than of a scientific uh, term, but we would like to open a channel so that um, uh, people that are interesting, interested in giving back to their country can do that. And, uh, all right, so uh, I think I've gone to that. As Aggie said, and this is really very important, uh, uh, the Union Hall of Science is completely open to suggestions and new ideas. Right? It's, we would love to do that. Um, we, we, we look to, uh, towards the future, but we could also look towards the past. Um, Mr. Professor Alex Hill here has, uh, has just uh, gained access uh, to the Voice of Greece, and we could even look at that and take care and do stuff about the, the Ionian Islands, uh, every, every news that has to do with the, the Ionian Islands. So that, that's, that could be a new idea, even if it's for the past and not for the future. Um, so we are motivated by it, uh, and we will try to do uh, to to perform as many and, and to 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 have as many synergies as uh, as possible. So who can participate? And this is a very very important stuff. Uh, all scientists originating from the Ionian Islands uh, can be a member of the network. Uh, or scientists that are active in the Ionian Islands as well. So what if you're a scientist and you're not from the Ionian Islands? Uh, you can be part of our um, scientific committee. Uh, if you're a student and you want to help, you can be part of the volunteer, our volunteer team. We already have this um, in place and it's very interesting because people from all over the world are really interested and ask what can they do to help. We've got plenty of things to do and uh, we're just starting. So yes, we need hands, we need help, we need everything that you can give us. So uh, uh, um, we have prepared here uh, uh, um, an infographics that can show you a little bit what we want to do. In the center, there is the um, Ionian University and uh, at the outskirts are all um, Ionian uh, scientists that come from the Ionian uh, land. And some of them know each other, but some of them don't. We just live around the world and they don't know each, they don't even know each other. So um, we want to create links from the university to each of one of them, if it's possible, and also create links between them. With us as the center of the network, of course, we can we, we can keep that for ourselves, can't we? Uh, I would like to show you the database that I was talking to you about. That this this is the um, it was um, it was uh, published on July twenty one, and uh, we we normally cite Mr. Uh, Professor Yanidis, who is uh, the, the first of the. Uh, the first name, but it's a very, very big job. And uh, so if you want to note it down, that's it. Comprehensive mapping of social and diaspora scientists. And uh, so this is our webpage, science.ihelenism.org. Uh, this is our advisory board. We also have an advisory board with names, uh, with uh, uh, really prominent Ionian scientists from all over the world. Our scientific committee. And how are we going to crowdsource, which is our first step. 
here you've got the database of the 64,000 names. And um, I'll go back. so you can find from the database or if you know yourself some um, any any scientist that comes from the Ionian um, uh, Islands, you can propose him or her, right? So you either recognize a name from the list or you already know someone. So you can nominate and propose a scientist. You only uh, only need uh, his or he his, her email. So then we contact the proposed scientist. And then, of course, if he is from the United and if he wants to take part of the, of the network, he replies to us. So I will stress again the need we have for volunteers, and I think this is important. Um, uh, and I would also like to talk about the stakeholders, which is the Union Hall of Science, of course, the Union Scientists, the Union University, the professors and scientific staff at the Union University, the scientific volunteers, the Ionians of the diaspora, researchers all over the world and public bodies. One of the questions that we, um, that we are working on is, all right, we want to, um, to create the network and part of this energy to go to the society of the Ionian Islands. The Ionian Islands nowadays are very um, dependent on the tourism, that, that's it. But we also have uh, a scientific um, capital that is completely unknown to everyone and um, nobody is taking advantage of it, if, if, if you can say that. So it is very important for us to have projects um, with other universities and other professors and the network will be a catalyst to that so that we can uh, work on making the local society um, in, in one, work, one word better. Um, is it ideas about development? Is it ideas about ecology? Is it ideas about education, health, whatever? This all can be um, uh, interesting projects to, to, uh, and to be applied to the Union societies. So I talked about expected results and um, yeah, I think I've covered almost everything. Innovation is very important for us. Um, what I would love to do now is here if you have any questions or any ideas. Uh, I'm not very much the, uh, the talking for three hours person. So I would like to, to hear what you have to say. Could you? Oh, I'll give you the microphone, yes. Will you tell us your name also when you start to speak? You want to? I may have missed this at the beginning, but um, the Ionian University is based in Kerkira, but building a campus in Catalonia, is that correct? Are there other campuses as well? Yes, you missed the beginning and I will say it or not. No, 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 don't worry. Um, the uh, the uh, uh, University was created in Corfu, in Kerkira, in 1984 and it's one of the youngest universities, but then there are departments in four different islands. So um, the, there's uh, our department is in Kefalonia. That's why I talk about Kefalonia. But there are departments in uh, Zante, Zakikos as well, and at Lefkada. So we all, it's the same thing with the, uh, the Aegean University. The Aegean University is based in uh, Mitilen, Mit Mitilini, but then you've got uh, departments in uh, Syros, Chios, uh, Rhodes, yes, um, uh, Limnos, I think, maybe? Um, yeah, I think, uh, no, yes, they, have, they do have a department of Limnos as well. So you've got, this, is, um, this was an idea that came uh, during the 80s that uh, the islands should not be excluded. Uh, and so 
uh, first was created the Aegean University with different departments in different islands, and then our university, which is younger, in different islands as well. This is um, an effort not to leave uh, the island, Greek islands isolated and only just use them for tourism. It's open. Yeah, it's open. Yeah, I'm there. So I can tell. That's what I showed you in the beginning. I, I thought you said it's under construction. It's always under construction because we're doing more and more and more. That's why. In our I could not tell you for everyone, but in our department, we accept 260 students every year. So we are in a third year, so we've got many students. And in Catalonia, uh, there's also another department, maybe Agis wants to speak? Yes. It's the food science, uh, food technology department. Yes, the other one is the food science. So you've got Mr. Panagis Galatatos with us, live from Boston? Baltimore, Baltimore. Baltimore, yes, Mr. Yeah, from John Hopkins, yes, all right. I didn't know where you were. <laughs> anyway, welcome. Oh, an honor to be here. Thank you guys so much. Sorry for um, joining late. I was given grand rounds, uh, but a true honor to be here. Um, and it means a lot as uh, someone, um, you know, uh, with strong family ties, especially to Catalonia. It's just an honor to be part of this. And you guys have my full attention to anything that I can help do to make sure our, uh, our part of Greece is uh, emphasized, especially for its, its best commodity, its people, right? That's, that's what I think uh, most people, when they come and especially visit those islands, they realize it's the people that make it exceptional. So just an honor to be here and carry uh, along those great traditions and, uh, and such. So thank you so much. Thank you for being with us. Uh, we've got a lot of scientists, such as uh, Professor Galatatos, who, who want to participate. And they are, since we launched this, uh, uh, this project in late in, uh, on the 12th of August, um, it was um, it, it's amazing how people come to us and say, uh, give me stuff to do. Tell me what to do. Uh, tell me how I can help. And uh, Panagis is one of them. Thank you very much. So, um, any other questions? I, I, I will not accept no, because then I will make you repeat whatever I said, all right? You can even have a, a, a thought. One, one question I have, I, I guess since you mentioned the professor uh, who's from Athens. Um, uh, I understand the, the, the desire to focus on the Ionian Islands, but at what point then will this network sort of become a little bit more open to, to other regions or to other, other um, opportunities? So the idea for us, I, I, I want to, to let Mr. Conida, uh, Professor Konidaris reply to that. When do we feel that we could expand to other regions than, uh, than the Kefalonia, than uh, the Ionian Islands? Well, we don't want to be too hasty on that. We, we don't want to do it uh, immediately. We want to just uh, expand uh, when we feel we're we're finished in the in the Ionian Islands, and I don't think that will be very uh, anytime soon. I think over over a year from now we'll be thinking about that. Uh, we it, it's so much work to to communicate with all the the scientists. Uh, I, it's it's over six thousand scientists that are only in the Greek scientist database right now. And there's so much, uh, and there's many more in uh, other disciplines that are not um, indexed in Scopus. Uh, and we're getting so much, so many responses right now uh, that, I mean, there's a lot of work to do. So 
uh, we, we, we're not thinking about that right now. I think maybe we will in a year or so. What we also saw at the database of the 64,000 people that are there, scientists, that there is quite a lack of social scientists, which is a pity. So um, we would also like to expand this list to, to other social scientists, to linguists, to sociologists, to there's so many historians, there are so many. And what, what is nice about the Union University we, we are in different, we are different departments, seven different departments, and we have a lot of competencies, so we can, we can do a lot of things. Unfortunately, we don't have uh, medicine, but that's, uh, that's, that's another story, but everything else we almost have in the university. Any other questions? I'll make you repeat what I said, don't forget. Here are the youngsters. They don't like to talk today. Can, 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 I, can I see? Can I uh, uh, ask a question? Is that okay? Sorry, we didn't hear you very well. Sorry. Oh, so you know me. I'm sorry. I was going to say, uh, I'm going to try. Oh, I've never been told no one can hear me well. Usually I'm too loud. Um, let me know if you guys can hear me. I just wanted to pose something uh, to say, you know, for many of us uh, scientists who aren't still on the islands, we have the capabilities of bringing some of the best to us. And I've done that already with a student from Patra that predated this and we coordinated it appropriately. He spent six weeks at Hopkins, we're about to publish a paper together. So I wanna make sure that, you know, many of the institutions many of us are at can help facilitate um, the ability to train and improve from students to seasoned faculty um, through collaborations, uh, a variety of projects. So just putting my hat in the ring saying, you know, we're happy to help with the resources we have at our own institution. Thank you, Panelis. And I would like to ask Professor Kandidaris as well to tell you what can the volunteer do? Panelis? Well, yes, the, the, the volunteer network is, is, uh, is crucial to the the project. Uh, every, everyone that wants to, to help us or, um, and what do I mean by help us? They, they, uh, there's, there's so much information coming in uh, from scientists around the world. We need to, to see if the information is accurate. We need to index it. And then we need to, to put it on our website. And uh, let me tell you that on the 19th, this month of September, uh, we will be publishing the first version of the Ionian Hall of Scientists with scientists that have already opted in. And this is something also really important, in my opinion, uh, that the scientists that we, we, we talk about over 6,000 scientists uh, that are out there that we think and we have a hunch that are of Ionian origin. But uh, the ones that are going to be in the Ionian Hall of Science are only those that opt in themselves. I mean, they really want to be in the Ionian Hall of Science and they have provided their information by themselves. So um, this, is, this is important because this means that all of these scientists really want to be in the network and take part uh, in what the network will be doing after uh, after we have a, 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 a substantial number of scientists. So this is important uh, because the network will then um, be ready to work and all of them, everyone that comes in will be ready and willing to help uh, in the network. So uh, this, we, we just didn't feel that we should, uh, uh, find scientists by ourselves and say, okay, this is the, uh, these uh, scientists are of Ionian origin. We could have done that and have large numbers of scientists. We wanted people to propose themselves or 
people that knew scientists to propose scientists. And then the scientists themselves would submit their information and say that, okay, I want to become a member of the Ionian Hall of Science. So this is going to be a vibrant community that uh, everyone will be willing to help and participate. So that's very important for the future, in my opinion. There's a lot of work to come to your question, Valia, once again, there's a lot of work to be done um, while we're getting all this information. And of course, uh, young scientists, students that uh, want to see how this is done, how databases are created, how we check information, and even ideas that we haven't thought of because we haven't thought of everything. And that's that's uh, what a project is all about. People are coming with their ideas and contribute to the project. So we want young scientists and students to participate in the project, take part in everything we do. Mind you, this is not done in Greek. It's, it's all done in English. So everyone is welcome. You don't have to know Greek to participate either in the Ionian Hall of Science Scientist Database or the Volunteer Network. It's all done in English and we did that on purpose. So everyone can uh, come in and mm, participate in, in its, its volunteer work, of course. Everyone can do whatever they feel that they have time to do. It's, uh, we, we don't uh, assign things to people. People are free to uh, take, um, take part in several activities. So this is, this is something new even to us and we are trying to make it as uh, uh, open as possible to everyone around the world, even if they're not of Ionian origin. Thank you, Agis, we've got the question. Again, you're the best student here. My apologies, Again, you may have discussed this uh, before I arrived, but is the idea that the having this um, database of scientists is the idea that they are going to interact with the students at the campus in Catalonia or in Gapira, as the case may be, is it that they're going to do research projects together? Is it merely to emphasize the strength of the, the, dias the diaspora and the, the, um, here's a way of connecting people? What is the, what do you see as sort of the end game for the whole of science? It's all of them and even more, actually. We do not want a, a database, database of names. That we do not want to have. Because even if we do, then someone goes somewhere else, somewhere else, someone leaves, someone. I mean, it, it's, not, it's not useful. It's, we, we need something. Well, as the web has become dynamic, we also need dynamic networks. A human cannot be behind computers. So we, um, we want to, do it, to have it as dynamic as possible. And of course, when I said before that the Ionian University will be the center of it, I don't really mean that everything will pass from us. For example, if you are the Ionian Hall of Science and you are a biology researcher, for example, you can find a biology researcher also in Australia or in South Africa, and you don't, you don't need to do anything uh, passing from us. Uh, it's that's 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 the whole that, that's the whole point. Something dynamic, evolving, continuously evolving towards um, the needs of the people because a human network are, is people. It's not so. We will the network will do will be as good as the people that make it and will do exactly what the people that make it want. Any other questions? Time is flying. It's... Yes. Uh, so one, one, one other question that occurs to me is the question of dissemination of research. Um, in which, in what, I'm not sure that if you mentioned what ways Ionian University or the, or the project will, will um, help facilitate the dissemination of 
research that's produced? Will there be publishing series? Will there be, um, you know, web-based uh, journals, something like that, in which, in which the, these research scientists who are part of the project can also then have the research presented uh, to the wider community. Yeah, that's what we will have a special place about uh, research and you can also find um, uh, compare researches before it's published and then consult. This is even more important than, than actually putting the final papers on that. It's even more important to be able to consult with colleagues that you feel comfortable with because that's also that um, uh, before publishing probably. And then you can have synergies and saying, I'm working on that. Is anybody working on that as well? So it's, it's kind of, uh, let's say, um, a Facebook, more than that, of course, for iron and scientists, like exchanging views, opinions, and doing much more on that. Vaya, uh, can, can I give some examples on that? Just, just briefly what what we want the end game to be someone asked that i guess that's that's yes i, I didn't hear that uh so what we want to do is just think about what scientists do they uh, conduct research they attend conferences they network they read related uh, research uh, and they teach so uh, the question is can can all scientists in the Ionian uh, Hall of Science uh, database do what they do, but do it either in Kefalonia, in Corfu, in Lefkada, in Zante, in the Ionian Islands, or, or make it relate or related to the Ionian Islands? I mean, the Ionian Islands can uh, is, uh, are a, a, a wonderful test bed for research projects. Uh, if you think about it, there's a lot of things uh, from geology to tourism that can uh, make the Ionian Islands a very important test bed for research projects. If someone has a, a, a project that relates to what can be, be done in the Ionian Islands, we want someone to do it. We want to, uh, uh, to organize uh, research conferences about the Ionian Islands and everything that relates to their development in the Ionian Islands with scientists worldwide. We want scientists to find uh, uh, a fellow scientist somewhere around the world that has this same link that they didn't know about. They are both uh, linked to the Ionian Islands and cooperate. So we see, if I may say uh, so, we, we, we look at the Ionian Hall of Science as the glue that will glue together all Ionian scientists and together with the Ionian Islands. So that can, uh, of course, uh, be, be very beneficial to the development of the islands themselves, because we really believe that uh, regions, every region in the world, can uh, develop in a sustainable way only if it's based on science. So having this in mind, we want to do what scientists do, but give them the opportunity, as Valia said, give them the, the, the channel to uh, do it either in the Ionian Islands, for the Ionian Islands, and do it together. So that's that's our uh, vision, if I may say so. So, at the end of our, our time, um, uh, let me thank, oh yes, uh, I, I need to mention, um, uh, thank the participation of um, the the Zakitos Zaki Society, right? Is that the is, sorry? Is that the name? Yeah, that's right. Okay. Um, thank you for for coming, uh, Anastasi. Um, and uh, please, all of you, please thank. Uh, join me in thanking Professor Kadmaki for her 
presentation and for giving us the chance to to hear about this really interesting project. Thank you. Thanks again to all of you who contributed in putting this project together and for supporting it and for uh, your generosity in in uh, your time and your your efforts to to be here today. Thank you. Thank you all. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I think.